welcome back. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and The Secret YouTuber on TikTok. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to set up your Microsoft Word. We will go through all of the options so that you can set your Microsoft Word up the right way for writing your novel. If you are looking for the easiest, quickest, and most cost-efficient way to not only write, edit, publish, but also turn your novel into an audiobook, then you have arrived at the right time and this is the right place. So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's jump into the video. When you first open up your Word, to go to the options. Here you will find general, display, proofing, save, language, accessibility, advanced, custom ribbon, quick access, add-ins, here in the general you will click on optimize for best appearance and you can choose show mini toolbar on selection, enable live preview, update documents content while dragging and you can also choose to collapse the ribbon automatically or collapse the Microsoft search bar by default and I've left these two unchecked and also here you can uh, choose the type of screen tip you want. You can show feature descriptions in screen tips. Don't show feature descriptions in screen tips or don't show screen, uh, screen tips. To personalize it, you can put your username in and also your initials. Always use these values regardless of sign in to office. I'm just going to click on yes. Your privacy settings. You click into the privacy settings. You can see the required diagnostic data and the optional diagnostic data. I have chosen the required. You can also send additional diagnostic usage data to Microsoft if you choose. If you have a LinkedIn, LinkedIn account, you can also integrate with your LinkedIn. Your startup options, you can choose the extensions you want Word to open by default. I've just got default pro uh, programs. And tell me if Microsoft Word isn't the default program for viewing and editing documents. Open email attachments and other uneditable files in reading view and show the start screen when the application starts. Allow co-authoring on files with macros. Display. And here you can go through these different options, check the ones that you would like to see. Now, you will see these in your formatting on your document. If you choose any of these, just by clicking into the box, you can choose any of these different formatting marks and your printing options. And here, if you have a printer attached, you can choose any of these options. The proofing, autocorrect options. So here are your autocorrect options. And I've got all of them checked. So that it autocorrects everything as I am typing. Auto format. I've again got all of them checked. Math autocorrect. Actions. You can enable additional actions in the right-click menu. Auto format as you type. Here you can use straight quotes, st straight quotes with smart quotes, fractions, bold and italic with real formatting, originals, hyphens, automatic bulleted list, border lines, automatic numbered list, tables built-in heading styles, format beginning of list item like the one before it, set left and first indent with tabs and backspaces, define styles based on your formatting. When you are done with the autocorrect, you will click OK. And here you can see when correcting spelling in Microsoft Office programs, you can ignore words in uppercase. You can ignore words that contain numbers.
French modes, traditional and new spelling, Spanish modes. When correcting spelling and grammar in words, you can check your spelling as you type. You want to make sure that's clicked. Mark grammar er errors as you type. Frequently confused words, check grammar and refinements in the editor pane show readability statistics. And your writing style. Grammar and refinements or just grammar. I just chose grammar and refinements. When you click into the settings, you can choose your options. Unsuitable. Here is exceptions for. So you want all new documents. Oops. So you want to hide spelling errors in this document only or hide grammar errors in this document only. We don't want to hide any of our errors because we want to make sure that we have them so that we can change them. Save your documents. Here you can save it in the DOCX, which is the one that you will be using uh, to upload to Kindle Create, and this is important. Save auto recovery information every five minutes, or you can make it every four minutes, every three minutes, or any numeral uh, numeric value that you would like. Keep the last auto recovered version if I close without sa saving. I want to make sure this is checked. And here you also want to know where it is that you are going to find your auto recover file. And you can check this at any time. Sh uh, don't show backstage when opening or saving files with keyboard short, uh, shortcuts. Show additional places for saving even if sign in may be required. And save the comput uh, to computer by default. And here it's going to save in my OneDrive and my documents. You can also choose browse and save it in your desktop, add a new folder, and call it word.files, and choose OK. Editing. This is where you will find your drafts. Here you can use an embedded font. In, in your in the file, and you can embed only the characters used in the document, thus for reducing the file size. Here you can. This is what you have your your cache settings, your cache setting, and days to keep files in the office document cache. And I put 14. If you choose this one, you'll lose your files as soon as you close your document. You don't want to do that. Your language, accessibility. Here you can keep the accessibility checker running while I work to provide feedback with sound. Choose your sound screen, uh, scene, uh, scene, provide feedback with animation, and here's your application display options. The screen tip style, which is show feature descriptions and screen tips, show short, uh, shortcut keys and screen tips, show the start screen when the application starts. Automatic alt text, uh, alt text. Alt text is what will generate whenever you use a picture. And this is for people with vision impairments when y they can't see the picture, the picture is described. As an example, alt text, if you have a bicycle, it will say, this image is a bicycle. So automatically generate alt text for me. Expand all headings when opening a document. Advance. And here you can look at all of the advanced options for working in Word, typing replaces selected text. So what this means is that if you select and highlight your text, start typing, it will automatically replace it. When selecting, automatically select the entire word, allow text to be dragged and dropped. Use control plus click to follow hyperlink. Automatically create drawing canvas when inserting auto shapes. Use smart paragraph section, use smart cursoring, use the insert key to control the overtype mode. Now, I'm not really familiar with this, but you can check this if you like. I'm just leaving it unchecked right now. Prompt for update style, use normal style for bulleted or numbered lists. Keep track of formatting. And also mark formatting inconsistencies. Enable click and type. 
and the default paragraph style. And here you will see the list paragraph is the first paragraph of uh, your, your chapter. So just when you use the normal, that will just be the default par uh, paragraph. I'll show you later on about the paragraphs. Show autocomplete suggestions, and you can click this one on, or you can click this one on, or you can click it off. It's up to you. But you can't always, it won't always show you the right autocomplete suggestions, so you'll have to watch that and choose. Do not automatically hyperlink a screenshot. Automatically switch keyboard to match language of surrounding text. So you can click that one on. And here it is, pasting within the same document, default. Pasting between documents, default. Pasting between documents with style definitions, conflict default. Pasting from other programs, default. You can also use your insert key for paste. And the copy and paste here, you can see your settings. You want to make sure, I would make sure they're all clicked. And then link handling, open supported hyperlinks to office files in office desktop app. And use pen to select and interact with content by default. Image size and quality. All new documents. You want to make sure that you are have all new documents clicked. And anytime you can click into this circle with the eye, it will give you information. Chart, I want to go with all new documents. And here you can just click all of these for your charts. To show the document content, background colors and images, show text wrapped within the document window, and you can also use draft in draft and outline. Now the closest one to the Amber Ember, the, the um, Amazon Ember, is the Lotto and Roboto. So I'm just going to look for the Roboto. So here's Roboto. This is the one that's going to be the closest to the one that you will be using in your Kindle. And let's just make it at 14. It's not really going to matter because it can always be changed. Show the number of recent documents. And you can go through all of these, choose what you would like. And when you have a printer, you can choose the boxes that you would like for printing. Now this is the ribbon that appears on the top here. So here you can see the ones that are all the popular commands. And you have commands that are not in the ribbon. So you can apply any of these commands as well. And then you have all commands. And that's a lot. And then you have all tabs. And we have most of them that are, are, are already appearing here, so you don't need to worry about that. And then your custom tabs. The quick access drill bar. And so this is the quick access drill bar that's up here. Is the save, the undo, redo, touch, editor, new, spelling, grammar. Oh, the quick, quick access drill bar is this one here. And you go into here and you go right click. That'll be your quick access drill bar. And you can again choose anything to add. And I think this has already been added. It will tell you if it's already added. So let's just go with the um, save as and then add. Be able to add. This is your quick access drill bar. So insert picture, insert page, insert spelling grammar, okay. And then the add-ins. And then, when you are done, you must click the OK. And then this will change everything. See, as you can see, it's now changed everything. And now it's made lines as well, which might not be something that you want. 
Okay. So now you want to go to your styles. This is your styles here. See styles. And click into this box with the downward arrow. This is now going to open all the styles that you have in your document. This video has been part of the You Are the Creator series. This is the end of this video, so please like, share, and subscribe for the next video in which I will be showing you the styles, menu, paragraph, and one-click table of contents. I'm forward to hanging out with you in the next video.